Steve Chet will join me now in the midst of lockdown. Chet, how has that been as a manager of the season, just being cut short like that and then not knowing where you stand? Uh, weird to start with. Uh, obviously, when the, the league was suspended, as it was suspended then, it was trying to find out what happened. And then obviously the league got uh, null and voided, uh, which was frustrating because we're in a, a good position, even though we're off the back of a poor week. Uh, but overall, the season gone really well for us. Uh, and in the end, it was a lot of toil and a lot of effort for, in the end, you know, avoided season. So a bit frustrating overall. Is your first year in charge at Basic United? How did you rank the season personally from your point of view? Uh, as a grade, probably B minus. Uh, there were some really, really good performances and some uh, performances that we didn't really get to the standards that we were really required to to win games and drew some games when we should have uh, won and lost some games when we should have drawn. Uh, but overall, you know, the majority of the performances were really good with some really good individual performances, but the team as a whole was strong. And we set your squad now pretty much ready to go for when the season is ready. How difficult has it been as a manager to put plans in place and make transfers and deals? Well, we, we did some business before the official transfer deadline uh, day came about with Kyle and with Marcus, uh, hoping that we could get them into the group after the, you know, after the suspended lockdown, shall we say. Obviously, that never... Uh, happened uh, so we've now done some business for the start of next season and we still don't know when that's going to happen so all we can do is get these agreements in place uh, try and put together a squad which is well balanced and what we're wanting uh, but at the end of it all Harry, we, we're just waiting for the green light for us to come back to do some work pre-season and then see where the start of the season is. You've signed four very exciting new players to come into the club how happy are you with the players you've got in, how excited are you looking to see them in a base for sure? Yeah, I'm happy. We, you know, we've obviously a lot of people left in the summer. Uh, they were really good servants for Basewood United, and people go on to do, you know, to do other things at other clubs. But we've tried to future-proof the club as well. So we've signed some hungry young individuals uh, that are of a, you know, a younger age, shall we say, and but they're exciting. And we've also signed an experienced striker who's been around at this level and the levels above and play professionally. So we're trying to get a good balance of everything and hopefully you know, when we do get back together it will click really quickly. And of those players, the only one that you've worked with so far, Kyle Dixon, was that a decision that was quite easy to make knowing the player that you've worked with in the past? Yeah, Kyle's a bundle of energy so we say. Uh, he's uh, Technically he's very good, he's got an eye for goal, he works his socks off and he's somebody that you know I, I've worked with like I said before when I was at Ilkeston previously. Uh, I've obviously known him while he's been playing Notts County and played all the other clubs as well so he, yeah he's been on my radar for a while. And you offered new deals to the likes of Callum Chettle, Matt Thornhill, Kieran Preston, Keane Richards. How excited are you the players that have stayed at the club and ready to push on now? Yeah, well, they, they were done before the end of the year. You know, we wanted to sign the players that had done really well for us last year. Uh, obviously, now we've got Lewis on board again and Dom's on board. So, when Ryan Wilson's on board, Steph Galinsky's back on board. So, the nucleus of the team that played well last year, we've got the mainstay of the group. So, like I say, it's not been... Massive wholesale changes bringing people in, but just to complement the squad that we already have. And with the lockdown, where are your plans now ready to get the players back in? Have you got the training sessions planned for pre-season? Yeah, pre-season's planned. Now we had games planned. Uh, games were planned before the end of last season uh, with pro clubs, but whether they get put on the back burner when we get a green light for a, a date to start back contact, uh, we'll soon know over the next couple of weeks. But our plan is to come back at the end of June. Players have all been given their off-season programmes to stick to, hopefully and come back in decent shape but you know we'll be gearing up to a season that we don't officially know when it's going to start so it's going to be kind of uh, a wait and see scenario. And for yourself you've also got the academy that you're in charge of, how has it been with actually you had your trial dates mm. and now this obviously lockdown's happened do you not get to do as much planning and not with the lads as? No we've still planned you know we've, we've still obviously sent out offers to kids that want to come in as a first year scholar next year uh, the ones who have missed out on other footballers are the ones already in the academy, so they've been working remotely through our education provider. So they've missed out on their football, but not their education. Uh, so they've still been working hard, but like I say, they've missed being out on the grass every day, having you know, getting fresh air and kicking balls around and having some fun. But again, you know, with government guidelines, we'll hopefully be back in sometime in July for their pre-season as well, uh, because their education program doesn't start till September. And you just said that the lads are missing it, but how much are you missing being out on the training ground every day? I do miss it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There's still things to do behind the scenes, but you know this is one of the main reasons why you get into sport uh, to be around a group of people that you enjoy working with and passing on your education to them as well. So that goes for the first team and the uh, for the scholars. But I'm looking forward to being back out in the grass. And looking ahead to next season, have you got any plans that where you see the team being that you can tell us now? 
in terms of positions? No, I'd, I'd like us to continue from where we were last year. You know, it was my first year going into the unknown really in the MPL. Uh, like I say, we conducted ourselves really well. It was a successful year, but we didn't get over the line because there was no line to get to. So hopefully this year there'll be an end line uh, and we can get as close as we can to it, like I said, all along last year. Cheers, Jeff. Thank you for your time. Right,